What's going on guys? It's that time again. We're gonna do a video game review. So this time I decided to do a sequel for a video game. Uh, kind of excited. We decided to go with the Donkey Kong Country series. So I'm gonna preface this entire video with this game was fucking tough. This game was absolutely fucking tough. It created a lot of challenge, good gameplay, however you want to put it. But with no further ado, let me show you the title screen for the game we're going to review today. It's Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest. That's Diddy and Dixie, you see there. Uh, like I said, this game, compared to the first one, this game was really tough. Uh, there's a lot of extras within the game. They definitely expanded. And in a lot of ways, I think that this game is just as good if not better than the first because of some of the extra stuff that you can do um right now you're looking at kind of the first level as of making this video i've not beaten the game um i got a little impatient and just decided that i wanted to put the video together because there's just so much that i had to cut out i decided that this will probably be a two-part video um because really they they made a lot of unique levels you see here some of the things you have to do to get through these levels. The game itself was just a lot different than what I expected the sequel to Donkey Kong Country to be. Um, and like I've already said, it was tough. I mean, it was a tough game. Um, thankfully, I have this on Super Nintendo Classic modded so I can do the save time. I am well past the time that it took me to beat Donkey Kong Country, and I haven't even really gotten um, all the way through the game, like I said. So, it's just been, it's been crazy. Overall, like I said, it holds up to the hype. You get some of the same features, like Funky Flights. You get that, so you can kind of go around, get those extra lives if you need them. One of the extras I really enjoyed was the Bonanza Challenge. So each level, you basically get a few questions where you can go through and get extra lives. Um, and then this area was really fun. It's called Target Terror. Uh, that's the level that you're going to see here. And it's basically just a, a circus-themed area that you have to get through to um, get onto the next level. There's a lot of different themes in this game than what the first donkey kong country had that's really the biggest thing that i want to stress is the theme changes a lot from from world or level however you want to look at it um from area to area it changes up this was really cool because it basically to advance to the last part of the game you have to collect enough of these special tokens throughout the game to get into this area and once you get in there, the first level is the only one I accomplished before I just said, screw it, I wanted to um, make this video. And it's called Animal Antics. You basically get to play as all the animals, which is something throughout the game itself you do a lot of. You get to play as, um, I don't remember all the characters' names, and we'll we'll see it towards the end. When we beat the video, they'll do the credits. But like the rhino, the dolphin, the snake, um, the bird, you get to use all of them in this game and this level um as of making this video i've gotten i think to the bird i just haven't gotten through it so like i said overall this is a really good game if you're looking for a great challenge a lot of side quests a lot of side things you can do i don't want to say side quests but a lot of extra stuff you can do on the side um it's a really fun game definitely suggest picking it up let me know what you guys think is there a love or a hatred for this game Anyways, thanks for watching, and subscribe below if you like what you see. We'll see you next time.